Hey everybody, Friday, what's going on? Um, end of the week for a lot of people, but um, for those of us that, that don't work, I guess it's um, <laughs> just another day. But what I thought I'd do today is just show you guys something that, that I've picked up again, part of the, the reading that I've been doing, um, the way I'm going to go about planning my weeks going forward. So on the last video I touched on having had a really good meeting with a couple of guys on Wednesday. Um, so that, that should result in me having some, some work to do come Monday. So we're just going through the process of getting that all set up. Um, yeah, looking forward to getting getting going on that Monday. So what that means for me, I guess, I've had a couple of months where I've not really had anything in particular that I've needed to do, um, which has been amazing, don't get me wrong, but now I need to start thinking much more about how to structure my time. So one of the things, again, I, I don't necessarily think that, that you're, you're taught to do, but something that, that I'm certainly going to start to do going forward is when I when I think about planning my week, the things that I want to plan in first are the things that either that are structured meetings that I know are, are there and have to happen, but more importantly the things that I enjoy doing. I think if you've got those things in your in your week, in your setup, um, to look forward to and, and to make sure that you, you set aside time for those things, your whole week is just going to be much better. So what I'll, I'll just quickly run through with you now. So the things I know that I've definitely got in the diary are on Saturday next week, I am going down to London all day um, with a guy that I've been talking to for quite a while. So that writes off pretty much all of my Saturday. Um, that's another potential avenue of income that I'm looking at. Um, again, I'll, I'll give you a bit more on that as we go. I'll try and get some some filming done on, on Saturday too, um, assuming I'm allowed to do that. So we'll see what happens there. So that Saturday's pretty much written off. I'll probably be back about eight o'clock. So for me, that's, that's just gonna be dinner. Um, and then some chill out time in the evening. I know that on uh, every day, Monday through Friday, the gym is, is going to happen. So I normally try and go to the gym. I like to have eaten at least three meals before I train. So typically that takes me to somewhere around about one o'clock. Um, so the gym will happen for me about one o'clock every day. Monday to Friday next week, um, about an hour, hours plenty of time to get a, a solid workout in, um, so that's that'll cover my gym. On Friday, this is actually going to change to probably a little bit later in the day because I'm going to meet somebody for a coffee um, at one o'clock, so the gym I'll flex, possibly go earlier on Friday actually, uh, be an arm workout, so I'll probably try and get to the gym for about 10. So the gym, something that I enjoy, the coffee's going to be an awesome catch up with someone I haven't seen for a little while that I used to work with, London on Saturday, those are probably all that I've really got outstanding as, as actual meetings in my diary, so I'm also going to add in some cardio, so I'm probably going to do about half an hour's cardio three days this week. Um, so I'll try and do those, I'll try and give myself a bit of time in between doing those sessions. So normally that's just half an hour at the moment on the bike, um, nothing too heavy because I'm, I'm gaining at the moment. So half an hour at maybe I don't know, 120 beats per minute sort of level. Usually I just stick something on the YouTube um, and and just pedal away for half an hour, so that's cool. Just get a little bit of a sweat on, but nothing like I say, nothing anywhere near what I'd be doing if I was cutting when I'm I'm pushing 45 minutes hard every single day of the week. Um, nothing quite that taxing while we're trying to grow. So 
what that leaves me with is then all the other time where I can fit in work. So I'll probably get going, you know, here I can get up first thing. Um, I'll have my breakfast and stuff. So that's normally, you know, that'll take me half hour, 45 minutes to prepare and eat. Um, so, we'll, you know, I'll probably get to like eight o'clock in the morning. I can do a couple of hours of work there. Um, I'll probably eat another meal around 10 o'clock and then get another another couple of hours in before going to the gym. Um, so that'll probably be a similar situation Monday through Wednesday. And then probably Thursday, I'm going to head across. So as part of this work, I'm going to go and catch up with um, one of the guys who this is, is in relation to just to have a bit of training on their system, just run through, you know, what, what I've been up to on this, um, make sure that everything's going as we planned. So uh, that's probably going to be some, at some point, you know, maybe like four o'clock, say on Thursday. So we'll have a catch up and then we're just going to go and grab a bite to eat because I haven't seen each other for a while. So we'll get that one in the diary. Um, so that pretty much writes off the rest of Thursday evening. Um, what then that gives me is obviously free time in the afternoons. Now with the World Cup going on, I've again, I've never really been in a position where I've actually had the, t the time to sit and watch football. Um, most of those games, I think the earliest kickoffs are normally like one o'clock time, so it might be that I miss those early games unless there's someone in particular that I want to watch play. So, you know, there's time in there for football, there's time in there for me to be doing, you know, making time for, for my videos, for my catching up on my emails, I can fit some more work in here. Um, but just as a general structure to my week, um, that's how it looks. Again, the other luxury I've got without, you know, I'm, I'm not office based, I'm not a Monday, Friday, nine to fiver. Um, if I want to work that way, I can, but, you know, Sunday at the moment, it's probably going to be a rest day for me from the gym. Um, having trained for five days in a row, Saturday I'm, is a write off because I'm down in London. So yeah, Sunday there is, you know, there's, there's time for me to do whatever I like on that Sunday. Um, which is again a really nice position to be in. I'm actually off to see my parents this weekend, um, so I might go and see them, or I can, you know, make time to go and see whoever I want to go and see. Um, just a nice position to be in. So hopefully that gives you some idea of of how I'm going to structure my time. So probably the key takeaways here: get in the diary first. Any actual known meetings. So this stuff that you, you know, is, is in the diary and is bound. And then make some time after that for the things that you really enjoy doing. So, you know, the things for me that are, are big in my life. So the gym is something that I'll always make time for, no matter what I've got going on. Um, the cardio as well, it's not as important for me at the moment because like I said, I'm in that gains phase, but I like doing it. Um, it just makes me feel generally better. So, you know, everyone, a lot of people who are in this world, there's a bit of a love hate thing with cardio. I, once I get going, I really, really like it. You know, initially that the thought of getting up every morning early doors to do 45 minutes solid it's not it's not exactly the most the most fun thing um, i don't always look forward to doing it but it's once you know I, it takes a week for me like once i've been doing it for a week solid and i feel so much better in myself when i then don't have it every day because i'm, I'm trying to grow it almost feels wrong and odd I don't feel quite as fit in myself, so I try and get, you know, I'm trying to get at least three sessions in. Um, when the summer as well, when the weather at the moment is actually pretty good, so just generally trying to get out and about more. Um, 
you know, just, just staying active really. So those things, you know, have to be done. And then work obviously has to be done, you know, I, I need to, all of us need to find ways of, of generating income, etc. So I'm just in a luxurious position in many ways that the work that I'm going to pick up is is up to me sort of when I do it really um, and from where I do it and that was one of the big selling points for me that this is all going to be done remotely so you know I can see I've got myself this little office set up which the geeky whiteboard is part of um, I'm picking up a second screen this weekend as well so I'll have like you know a proper sort of office set up which will be really good to actually be able to crack on properly. Um, and yeah, I can, you know, the more time I'm spending away from home um, in Paris or wherever it might be, I, I, all I need is a laptop and an internet connection. So if you look back at my goals video that I posted a few days ago, um, that was number one. That number one work goal for me was being able to, to work remotely, to just need a laptop and an internet connection and be good to go. And you know, lo and behold, a couple of days later, this opportunity presented itself off the back of that video. And you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting started on that on Monday. I think it's going to be you know, a, a really good opportunity for, for all of us to get cracking. Um, what I haven't really sort of factored in here rigidly at the moment is downtime. Um, but again, don't underestimate the importance of that downtime. I, I said I'll probably be watching quite a lot of football, so that for me is going to be downtime. Um, in between eating all my meals and, and the stuff that you know I, I, I like doing and I have to do as part of the lifestyle I've chosen. But, you know, that for whatever that might be for you, if you want to, you know, have a an hour or two of an evening where you stick some a film on a Netflix series um, for family people you know the things that you're gonna prioritize up here get up and do something that you want to do first thing in the morning set yourself upright so having breakfast with your kids for example as a family prioritize that um, you know that that should be massive in people's lives so having breakfast or having dinner as a family, being able to talk about the day and set yourself for the day. I think, you know, as and when that time comes for me, those are going to be huge priorities in my life. So uh, this is obviously for someone at the moment who is is living a, a fairly, uh, arguably a fairly selfish lifestyle. All these things are for me pretty much. Um, but that's just the position I'm in at the moment so it's not going to be like that forever and this would be a very different picture if like I say if you know as and when family comes along this all adapts you just you fit things in differently but yeah I would say make sure one of the first things you do when you wake up is something that you absolutely enjoy it's just going to put you in a right mindset for the rest of the day um, and really give you a positive outlook um, it's adaptable even if you're in the office situation now I was guilty when I was in an office of I turn up at half seven every morning I left whenever it might be you know if I could I'd get away at four half four um, sometimes it'd be five six seven eight o'clock at night but I, I just and I didn't really leave my desk in that time now if I could go back and do that again if I find myself in that office situation I think I'd quite like to actually go to the gym at a lunchtime. Now, even if that meant that I extended my lunch hour to an hour and a half, the way the world works now and the way that people live their lives and the way that flexible working arrangements, I don't really see any reason why that shouldn't be allowed in the office place. Um, as long as you're, as long as the work's getting done, and I was about to say as long as you put in the hours, but he, I, I don't necessarily think there should be hours as such. It, as long as you're, as long as you're doing the work, then I, I don't really see any reason why you should have to work a certain number of hours a week or, or be tied to being in the office at any particular point in time. Um, 
yeah, I, I just think as long as you're doing what you need to do, um, why shouldn't you factor in around that the things that you enjoy? So hopefully you can take something away from this anyway. Um, I'm about to have my, my porridge um, and then I'm going to go and get a solid arm workout in. So hopefully I'll get the, the highlight to that up for you guys after this little introduction to my my newly found geeky whiteboard and the structure to my day. Catch you later. In the eight C L, that's my homeboy. Watch your back if you're gonna walk alone, boy. Cause everybody in the homeboys trying to get rich. You could get hit even if you're known, boy. Uh, we the kings of the south. Pies in the oven, grills in the mouths. Cow stacks is a usual norm. Cows park, they ain't care where the hustle was born. So peace up and A town down. 4 4 living with the 808 sound. Nightlife popping, ain't nobody stopping. Cutting up a rug when the beat drop, drop it. The dirty birds nest here, and then the haters get to talking, and then they falling on the deaf ears. This is where trap music was born on the 50 yard line of the Georgia Dome in the ATL. Pop that, drop that, dirty birds, you ain't never gonna stop that ATL. We the best, this dirty south, living from MIA to Texas. ATL. Drop stacks in the tip cup, buying out the bar at the strip club. ATL. GA all day, let me show you how we living down south in the ATL. In the eight C L, that's my homeboy. Watch your back if you're gonna walk alone, boy. Cause everybody in the homeboys trying to get rich. You could get hit even if you're known, boy. Uh, we the kings of the south. Pies in the oven, grills in the mouths. Cow stacks is a usual norm. College park, they ain't care where the hustle was born. So peace up and A town down. 4 4 living with the 808 sound. Nightlife popping, ain't nobody stopping. Cutting up a rug when the beat drop, dropping. The dirty birds nest here, and then the haters get to talking. And then they falling on the deaf ears. This is where trap music was born on the 50 yard line of the Georgia Dome in the ATL. Pop that, drop that, dirty birds, you ain't never gonna stop that ATL. We the best, this dirty south, living from MIA to Texas. ATL. Drop stacks in the tip cup, buying out the bar at the strip club. In the eight C L, that's my homeboy. Watch your back if you're gonna walk alone, boy. Cause everybody in the homeboys trying to get rich. You could get hit even if you're known, boy. Uh, we the kings of the south. Pies in the oven, grills in the mouths. Cow stacks is a usual norm. College park, they ain't care where the hustle was born. So peace up and A town down. 4 4 living with the 808 sound. Nightlife popping, ain't nobody stopping. Cutting up a rug when the beat drop, drop it. The dirty birds nest here, and then the haters get to talking, and then they falling on the deaf ears. This is where trap music was born on the 50 yard line of the Georgia Dome in the ATL. Pop that, drop that, dirty birds, you ain't never gonna stop that ATL. We the best, this dirty south, living from MIA to Texas. ATL. Drop stacks in the tip cup, buying out the bar at the strip club. ATL. GA all day, let me show you how we living down south in the ATL.
In the ATL, that's my homeboy Watch your back if you're gonna walk alone, boy Cause everybody in the homeboys trying to get rich You can get hit even if you're known, boy Uh, we the kings of the south Pies in the oven, grills in the mouths Count stacks is the usual norm Cause Park ain't care where the hustle was born So peace up and A-Town down 4-4 living with the 808 sound Nightlife poppin', ain't nobody stoppin' Cuttin' up a rug when the beat drop droppin' The dirty birds nest here And then the haters get to talkin' Then they fallin' on the deaf ears This is where trap music was born On the 50-yard line of the Georgia Dome In the ATL Pop that, drop that, dirty birds You ain't never gon' stop that ATL We the best, this dirty south Livin' from MIA to Texas ATL Drop stacks in a tip cup, buying out the bar at the strip club. A T L G A all day. Let me show you how we living down south in the A T L. In the ATL, that's my homeboy Watch your back if you're gonna walk alone, boy Cause everybody in the homeboys trying to get rich You could get hit even if you're known, boy Uh, we the kings of the south Pies in the oven, grills in the mouths Count stacks is the usual norm College Park ain't care where the hustle was born So peace up and A-Town down 4-4 living with the 808 sound Nightlife popping, ain't nobody stopping Cutting up a rug when the beat drop dropping the dirty birds nest here, and then the haters get to talking, then they falling on the deaf ears. This is where trap music was born on the 50 yard line of the Georgia Dome in the ATL. Pop that, drop that, dirty birds, you ain't never gonna stop that ATL. We the best, this dirty south, living from MIA to Texas. ATL. Drop stacks in the tip cup.